Hello Libra, happy weekend to you, happy new year 2024. I can't believe how fast time flies. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are, celebrating with your loved ones. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. <clears throat> Libra, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever is you thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. The universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra in the life. <clears throat> and how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Libra in the life? And how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> this one over here is trying to hide from me. Let me see what's going on. The world. Wow. You're going to be celebrating some kind of financial accomplishments, whether it has to do with your job, business, investments. This is you seeing very clearly what you need to do with your finances. Financial abundance showing up here for you. That's because you are proactive, beautiful. You are taking action. You are being very proactive, resourceful to make sure that you are well off financially, that you don't have to worry about how you pay your bills. Yeah, this is you uh, recognizing that your financial stability and independence are very important to you. Yeah. Yeah, look how strong you are. This is you also taking better care of your health. Yeah, you feel like you've let yourself go a little bit uh, because of stress. Uh, didn't pay much attention like you should have uh, with your diet, with your health. And now you, you're recognizing that you need to make some significant changes. So it's not like you're just wishing to make those changes. You're actually putting things into action. Yeah, good for you. You're being proactive. Be careful because there are some people who are setting you back financially. Yeah, whether it's toxic relatives draining your bank account or you giving too much to others when you really need to be taking care of yourself. This is you being a little too generous with certain people. When you're too generous, people will take advantage. Yeah, they will. So be careful. Remember, you're not responsible for other people's bills or uh, frivolous spending habits. I mean, they have their own financial karma to balance. They need to take accountability for their irresponsible spending habits, right? Universe, please show us. This also means raise, promotion, bonus, advancement. Yeah, financial uh, stability. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra and how is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey. <clears throat> oh, you're so guarded towards some people at your job. Yeah, yeah. Be careful because somebody's using you financially. Somebody's setting you back financially. Uh, the first person that comes to your mind, whether it's a relative, a close friend, um, a coworker taking credit for your work and not completing the tasks and it falls on your competent hands. Yeah, be careful. Uh, don't let people take advantage of you, of your good nature, of your good heart. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, this is you meeting a new soulmate. So as far as your soulmate is concerned that you've been dealing with, you view them as knight of wands, someone who's in and out of your life, someone who doesn't communicate effectively, doesn't commit, who is impulsive in behavior. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, be careful with money. Again, this is a warning to you. Be careful with money, whether it's your personal finances in your private life with certain people who want to take advantage of you financially, gain financially at your expense, or at your job. Okay, be careful with money right now. Oh my gosh. You feel stuck with this toxic group of people somewhere, whether it's Toxic coworkers, toxic relatives. This is you feeling stuck with these toxic individuals. Yeah. Trying to get out. <clears throat> as far as your soulmate is concerned, 
they showing up with the snake on the bottom of the lover's energy, which means that uh, with the combination with the Knight of Wands is not good, which means that they are used to this kind of behavior, being in and out of people's lives, not communicating effectively, running around with different people. Yeah, this is how you view them based on the behavior towards you, right? Yeah, you see, you're letting go of toxic people. This is you trying to get your health back. So you've experienced some health setbacks recently, whether it's because you didn't eat properly, didn't exercise, or um, you had too much stress or combination of those. This is you recognizing that you need to take better uh, care of your health to feel better, right? Yeah, so important, right? Health is number one. Let's see what's going on here. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Libra. How is Libra currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you recognizing that certain people in your life don't belong in your life. They drain you. You feel emotionally unfulfilled and drained by certain individuals in your life. You know who they are already. You already know who they are. You don't need to figure that out. Yeah, you see, they drained you financially, emotionally, energetically. This is you finally saying enough is enough. Standing up for yourself. Oh my gosh, your soulmate is popping up here. That The one that you've been dealing with. Um, they are really just a knight of wands. My least favorite knight of all knights, but they pretend to be an emperor. You see, they like to control. They like to be alpha. You see this? Yeah, uh, tower. You see, this is them going through what we call dark night of the soul. They waking up, realizing the importance of you in the life and why they lost you. You see, yeah, this is them finally uh, letting go of that ego very slowly in a painful way. They don't want to let go of that ego of control, but they have no choice. You see, this is catching up with them. This is for the highest good, though. Once we let our ego go and not allow our ego um, make decisions in our life, that's when we're going to free ourselves, right? Yeah, whenever we make decisions based on ego, that's when we're going to make the most mistakes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on with that person. <clears throat> hmm. That you're letting go of, that showed up as Knight of Wands and Emperor. That's the ego. That's the emperor's persona they're holding on to so tightly. Universe, please show us so they don't lose control. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Libra that Libra is letting go of. And how is that soulmate of Libra towards Libra this time, especially emotionally? I'm almost scared to see, but let's be brave. Yeah, you see, they realize that they've made some serious mistakes with the uh, decision-making in the relationship with you, but also with their finances. You see this? This is them trying to figure out what to do. Ooh, they're so heartbroken over losing you. They are extremely heartbroken, devastated emotionally, but they're very good at hiding those emotions. They're very good at hiding their feelings. So if you were to look at them from the outside, you would think they're doing just fine without you, that they're moving on. No, they're not. They just hide it well. They're so heartbroken and they have a hard time apologizing, admitting to their mistakes publicly. You see, this is them needing to learn humility, how to be humble in life. Once they learn humility, which means they will no longer pop up as somebody who wants to be like an emperor, once they learn humility, uh, they're going to be so much happier. They're going to be able to create harmonious relationships with other people. They're going to be able to establish good relationship with themselves, first and foremost, right? Because we don't, when we don't have good relationship with ourselves, we can't possibly create a harmonious relationship with other people. We can't. It's impossible. We need to first learn how to love ourselves, respect ourselves, right? Not be ego-driven, materialistic as well. Look how much they miss you. How alone they feel, sad, abandoned, misunderstood. They've made some serious financial um, decisions that uh, they made with their ego. They've made 
uh, wrong decisions with finances and this shows financial losses showing up here for them in their personal life financial losses yeah so they've made some wrong decisions and now you see when we make decisions we have to deal with consequences eventually right sooner or later so that's for all of us right we all make mistakes but we need to be very careful how we affect negatively other people around us with our mistakes right because when we don't think when we do things impulsively and don't consider how our decision making will possibly hurt other people around us that's when we're going to create karma for ourselves that we're going to have to balance right <clears throat> wow this is them praying hoping wishing to be back in your life this shows me that this was a serious connection for you libra that you love this person that this was a serious connection for you it wasn't some frivolous dating let's see yeah this person is in love with you but they don't show it don't express it you see they don't show it they don't verbalize it it's like <clears throat> they quiet not showing it not expressing it <clears throat> hmm not proving it to you universe please show us wow I just realized something. This shows me that they said things to you that they wish they never said to you, that hurt you deeply, but they said it uh, because they were upset. They didn't mean it. They really didn't. They wish that they could take those words back, but that's impossible. Once they say things, uh, they can't unsay it, right? Once we say something, it's out there. We, we can't take those words back, right? Yeah, they regret it deeply. Wow maybe they said things in anger to you yeah that's why it's so important to enter conversations with people when we are calm right because when we are not calm when we are angry upset we're going to say things that we're going to regret later on that we won't be able to take back you know please show us what's going on currently with that summit of libra look how scared they are petrified of your rejection judgment scared they're also scared about their finances. So uh, financial losses are showing up here that are karmic in nature. Ooh, yeah. So they pretend to be an emperor, but they really are just a page of swords. Yeah. This person, you don't know how badly they want to communicate with you, to clear the air with you, to have your understanding, um, forgiveness, compassion. They feel so alone. They feel so misunderstood by people. They feel so alone. Yeah, they're going through a lot right now. Yeah, you see, this is them going through dark night of the soul. This person is going through uh, dark night of the soul where um, they're trying to figure out, kind of look back at their behavior and relationships and figure out where they went wrong, what to correct, what to learn from those experiences and relationships. They have so much respect for you they have enormous amount of respect for you you're not chasing them you are fabulous highly vibrational empress they have so much respect for you yeah they really don't blame you for letting them go Ooh, they betrayed your trust in a major way yeah they did sword 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 swords this means betrayal lies deception manipulation you see this they regret it deeply. Yeah, this is unfaithfulness showing up here. Snake right next to deception and lies. So, yeah, this person, if they left you for somebody else or cheated, were unfaithful, they either not with that person or if they are, they are very unhappy, emotionally unfulfilled, regretting deeply, uh, taking you for granted. Yeah, look how much respect they have for you. View you as independent, moving on with your life, not chasing them, taking your power back. You don't know how badly this person wants to be courageous enough to approach you, but they feel they have no right to approach you, even though they want to so badly. They don't blame you for letting them go. No, they don't blame you. Yeah, so we all make mistakes. So the good thing is this person sees very clearly what they need to do. 
how they need to fix this. The question is, will they take proper actions to earn your trust and respect again? It's going to take them a lot of inner work and time to earn your trust again. If at all, they'll be able to do it. Yeah, because you're an empress, it's not going to be easy to earn your trust again. Yeah. You remember everything that they put you through. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Libra. Yeah, you see, they want to approach you because they realize they still love you. They can't disconnect from you emotionally. They finally realize your worth value, how much you mean to them. This is beautiful. They finally realize it. You see this? This is them having aha moment, epiphany, awakening, spiritual awakening. The truth is apparent to them now. The sun, the best card in the whole deck. Yeah, you see, secrets, secrets that they need to reveal to you, be honest about. Yeah, you see, they realize that they can't continue with the same behavior, hoping for different results because they're so unhappy, emotionally unfulfilled with the way they've been living their life. So we all make mistakes. So the good thing is, once again, that this person sees very clearly what they need to do. So that's very good. It looks because out of these five cards, four of them are major arcanas, which means they're going to find a way to communicate with you, whether they uh, directly um, reach out to you through a third party or bump into you, make it look accidental. Expect this person communicating with you. Remember, Libra, how you react to them will be up to you. Yeah, how you behave, react to them, whether you listen to them or not. That's going to be totally up to you. Make yourself available, Libra. Don't sit at home. Yeah, this is you meeting new people this coming year. People of quality. Yeah. And because you are of quality, you deserve quality people in your life. You are an empress. Yeah, you don't need to be chasing anybody. No. What does the empress do? The empress picks and chooses who is best suitable for him or her. Yeah. Libra, I'm sending you lots of love, big hugs, and I'll talk to you next time. Love you guys.